Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe to the channel, click the notifications, and also like the videos here on YouTube. So also remember to check out the playlist where you can find other videos to do with cosmetic surgery. So today I am speaking to a lady in the Dominican Republic and she is a coordinator for cosmetic surgeries. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. Please just introduce yourself and just tell me a little bit about what you actually do. Okay. Hi, my name is Ana Lorenzo. I am nurse and plastic surgery coordinator from Dominican Republic. Brilliant. Okay. So um, I suppose you're helping uh, clients that are maybe coming from the US for surgery. Is that correct? Yes. So I help the ladies from the United States or for whatever country for coming here for plastic surgery, like liposuction, BBL, tummy tuck. That's great. So where about, uh, do you help with um, clients coming for, to anywhere in the Dominican Republic or is there a specific location that you're based in? I am in the central city, choose a specific location because the, all the surgeons work here in the central city. So okay. I say like in Santo Domingo. That's great. So tell me, um, what sorts of things are you recommending? Do you Are you able to recommend surgeons and um, housing, like where they're going to stay? What sort of things are you helping with in your package that you're providing for the clients? Um, I work with the, a lot of surgeons here. So all the time, so when the patient told me, I like this surgeon, like I like blah, blah, blah. I like Dr. Medina, for example. Mm -hmm. I can bring the quote, I can bring the staff and everything. Like, if you come in here by me, it's my responsibility yeah. to give you everything, whatever you need. If you need going to the whatever place, I will going to stay with my patient all the time. Okay, so are you able to collect the patients as well, like from the airport? Yes, I will. I have my driver, I have my chef, I have my masseuse and me. I am the nurse, so I I never send another person. It's all the time is just by me. I will go into the airport and I will meet my patient from the airport. I talking with my patients before coming here or to the enter moms and I told my patient what 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 they need before coming here. Because I like to do everything right. Yeah, brilliant. So, um, so with the post-op care, are you helping the patients with the post-op care as well afterwards? Like helping yes. them in their accommodations? Yes, I have in everything. So I give a shower. You can take a shower, but we clean the body because, you know, so many people yeah. don't like that. But the doctors say we can use the wipes and so many um, gels, antibacterial for clean the body, like the arms and so many areas. And I wash the faha. I put it on the faha. I have my patient. If you know, go, if you're going, if you need going to the bathroom or everything, I work 24 hours. So I don't sleep. If my patient don't sleep, I will say all the time just for bringing the service. It's just like this. For that reason, all my patients have a good reference for me because yeah. I will stay all the time on point. If you need me, I will be a stay with you. That's brilliant. How long have you been um, doing the post-op care for in Dominica Republic? How long? Uh, how many years? The, how long? Yeah, how long have you been doing post-op care? I have six years working, but I work in the, I work in the um, military hospital. I am okay. certified by the Ministry of Health here. So I okay. work for both. I work for plastic surgery because it's my own business, but I work for the hospital too. And I have six years working. I am training in emergency and everything. Oh, okay. That's brilliant. So um, just say uh, the, the clients, when they're coming over, um, do they have to bring like um, their own, like say toiletries and supplies, or is there anything that you're able to help them with or supply as part of your service? Um, the supply you say, 
Yeah, so say like, um, you know, like um, toiletry supplies and things like that, do they have to bring all that themselves or do you have a package where you can provide uh, toiletries and things like that for them? I have, uh, I have a package for everything, but all the time I recommend my patient come in here with their stuff. Yeah, it's more yeah, okay. easy because you can order for Amazon here. It's more expensive because we have yeah. to order and we have to put another price for send. So it's more better when the pay I give my patient the list. It's basically. Yeah. So you, you don't need too much stuff. So many people come here with a lot of stuff and you don't need it. You don't we will say a lot of stuff. You need just yeah. only pads because we use the pads for putting inside the faja. That's for protect. Mm the faja into the skin because when you have the light position, it's like a broke your tissue inside and you have you have to it's too hot here. So you have to protect your skin. Mm -hmm. We use the pads yeah. for that. We put the pads from the side and in the front. Um mm -hmm. comfortable dress like two size more than you are because so many people think you, they will have their, their results in the same day. No, you yeah. will be swollen. So you have you need the comfortable dress or comfortable pyjama. And we use that. It's more comfortable for if you want to need to go to the bathroom because you have the faja, have the foam, have the pads inside. And it's too hard here. It's a tropical country. Yeah, of course. And I so, um, we use so we use the pads, cream, um, vitamin, if you want to buy your vitamin iron or vitamin C, dress, um, comfortable shoes, like, um, what is the name? That, like a slippers. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. That's it. that's it. But I see a lot of girls coming here with a lot of stuff. Girl, <laughs> you don't need a lot of stuff. <laughs> <gasps> that's great so tell me as well a lot of people um like to have like massages lymphatic drainage massages after they have their treatments is that something that you can help them with or help them to book i help but i have my masseuse so she come every day to the airbnb and she bring okay. the massage and if you come in with a companion um you can have the relaxed massage too so right. both can enjoy the time that's great. So um, tell me, how long would you expect a client to need to stay in Dominica Republic after they've had their surgery? Or does that depend on the surgery that they've had? Um, it depends. But all the time, it's like 14 days if you have the tummy tuck, lipo, and BBL. And if you have like back leaf or tight leaf or arm leaf, you have to wait like 21 days. Right. If you have the liposuction or BBL, that depends if you have the drain. If you have the so many people don't put the drain for the lipo and BBL, but so many doctors put. So mm -hmm. if you have the drain, you have to wait like 10 days because the drain is don't remove it until 10 days. Okay. So the normal say 14 if you come in for tummy tuck BBL and 12 if you come in for liposuction and BBL. Would it be expected that the client would have the drains removed before they go home or can they go home with the drains if they're not out yet? Um, it, you have to wait for the doctor. The doctor will take it out the drain until 10 days because right. that depends how you're draining every day. Yeah. But if you're draining uh, until 400 cc every day, the doctor though we're going to remove the drain because you can have the seroma or fibrosis. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, so that's great. All of your contact details in the video um, below, your email address so that, um, you know, clients can get in contact with you if they need to, okay? Brilliant, great speaking to you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye. <laughs>